Magnify your name this morning, majestic King of glory, the Prince of Peace, the Savior, the Redeemer. Oh, Abba Father, your words are the top priority to me right now. They are spirit and life. I let the word dwell in me richly in all wisdom. The ability of God is released within me by the words of my mouth. I am by the words of you, Abba Father, God Almighty. I speak your words out of my mouth. They are the alive in me. You are alive and working in me. So I can boldly say that my words are words of faith, words of power, the words of unconditional love and the words of life, Chaim. They produce good things in my life and lives of others because I chose your words of my lips. I chose your will for my life and I go forth in the power of those words to perform them in Yeshua, the Messiah's name. Yes and amen. And I proclaim in this morning, the Proverbs chapter 4, 23. Keep your heart with diligence, for out of it spring of issue of life. Oh Lord, your life is coming right now through my mouth encouragement to the broken hearts lord i pray right now lord to you are use me to be the channel and blessing to the many people oh hallelujah lord hallelujah you are say to us today walking in your calling in colossians chapter 3 2 set your mind on this that are above, not things that are on the earth. This was on the earth is temporary, but what is above it all is glorious, majestic. When you lose your focus, you lose anointing. Pay attention for this. There's a very strong for today this morning. I have deep passion to do this present generation of saddened generation that people who is wake up generation quick generation suddenly they are in prayer they not entering to uh, disappointed and a bad news they are sudden generation hallelujah they are students of god have of god size impact on the world in my opinion there are has never been group in history with more potential to be used by God to further his kingdom. They have the res resources, they have the gifted, the most important, they have the audacity to, to Bible that God can actually use them to accomplish the impossible, hallelujah, which make it all the more, hallelujah, a gravity, that we are losing this generation. Some things is the lack of com commitment. The other thing is because they lack structure and are just too wild. Each of these suggestions place problems on the students. I think the problems lies with us. We have given them something worthy of giving themselves completely over to instead we are settled for simple trying to keep them out of trouble we are training them to be good little boys and girls the young generation god did not raise them up for that he wants them to be great men and women of god almighty he has places as calling on their lives collectivity and individuality and this is what we need to spend all of our time and energy communicating oh students the young generation do not need us to be behavioral modification specialist they need us to demonstrate what is look like to walk in your calling 
in God's calling, hallelujah, to walk in God's calling, praise the Lord. The vision we are casting before them is too small. The challenge we are presenting is great enough. I feel that the greatest peril in the modern Christianity relating to youth culture is that we are under challenging this generation of the student with anemic alternate version of the gospel. It's worth keeping your paths on four. We fool them to sleep with those and don't instead of waking them up, to wake up them up, to waking them up, to God giving potential inside of them. Hallelujah. God give them tremendous potential. Hallelujah. The truth is you can stay out of the trouble but fall short of your calling. You can stay out of trouble but live a life of little impact of significance. The book of Titus in New Testament chapter 2, 11 and 12 says, For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation, all people training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passion and to live self-control, upright and godly lives in the present age. When the students, the young generation come to understand that God has something for them, far greater than sex, alcohol, and pursue a short life's high school popularity. Everything change. These things lose their attractiveness. Oh, it has nothing to do with staying out of trouble. Their motivation is that will not dare risk the glorious destiny God has for them by wasting them, their time on anything that calls short circle it. Oh Lord, students, young generation, and all of this new perspective they are right now, don't need rulers to live by. They need calling to live for. Philippians chapter 4, 13, I can do all things through him who strengthened me. Hallelujah. I pray right now this morning for the students, for the young generation. I pray for this, this young people who have tremendous uh, potential, great possibilities. I pray for them. Lord, bless them abundantly and exceedingly in this unusual time. Lord, I pray. Raise the Joshua generation. Raise this, this young generation, uncompromised generation. The generation who go in with a new strength, with a new power, with a new glory. Raise them up, Lord. Lord, we are believing for a young generation to be raised up. And they are the torch holder, the fire holder, the fire of revival, the fire, fire of Preparing the return of our Savior. They are going with a new perspective to save souls. Hallelujah. With different way. The old way is not work anymore. But a new way is really move forward. I feel also for the elderly people. This is called the Lazarus generation. The resurrection generation. The, re the generation. Hallelujah. In my next teaching. I be teach more about Lazarus generation. Hallelujah. Healing power generation. We're walking with authority, with a mighty, glorious calling of God. And I bless everyone who hear this short message. This is only 10 minutes, but in you really listen this with open spirit, with open heart. The Lord be speak to you and wake up you and refresh in you and renew you for the new perspective in this new season. Hallelujah. This is I call the unusual season. Excited season where we're waiting for this long time is a breakthrough of revival coming upon every one of you. Financial breakthrough. Hallelujah. Spiritual breakthrough. Healing miracle breakthrough because you're entering to be to, to Lazarus' generation. Lazarus is raised up from the dead. Hallelujah. And he used by God tremendously in the Cyprus island. Oh, be strong. Be courageous in this end time.
And I bless you in the name of Yeshua, the Messiah, Savior and Redeemer, Jesus Christ, our Father in heaven. Hello be your name, your kingdom come, you will be done on the earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us, Lord, from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and power and glory forever and ever. Yes and amen. Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, is only our hope and destination. With you today, Pastor Daniel Rosen, with a word of encouragement. Early morning, hallelujah, freshness of the fresh air in Jerusalem. No pollution, no, no noise, it's quietness and the wind and, uh, and freshness, glorious anointing flow right now around the city of Jerusalem, Jerusalem. God bless you abundantly and exceedingly.